I remember vividly when the civil rights movement first began to pick up steam. We saw Bull Connor turning fire hoses on young African-American kids, and we asked the older generation, why it's just and fair to have laws that discriminate on the basis of skin color? And when they couldn't answer that question, the laws began to change. This movement to solve the climate crisis is in the tradition of every great moral movement that has advanced the cause of humankind. And every single one of them has met with resistance to the point where the, many of the advocates felt despair and wondered, how long is this going to take? Martin Luther King famously answered a question during some of the bleakest hours of the civil rights movement when someone asked, how long is this going to take? He said, how long? Not long because no lie can live forever. How long? Not long. Because the moral arc of the universe is long, but it bends toward justice. How long? Not long. We are close in this movement. We are very close to the tipping point beyond which this movement, like the abolition movement, like the women's suffrage movement, like the civil rights movement, like the anti-apartheid movement, like the movement for gay rights, is resolved into a choice between right and wrong. And because of who we are as human beings, the outcome is foreordained. And it is right to save the future for humanity. It is wrong to pollute this earth and destroy the climate by balance. It is right to give hope to the future generation. It will not be easy. And we too, in this movement, will encounter a series of no's. The great American poet Wallace Stevens in the last century, one of his lines was this, after the last no comes a yes. And on that yes, the future world depends.